Hello everyone, welcome to my first vlog. I'm going to talk about one of my favorite celebrity of all time and he is one of the reasons of my development in music. My development in music. Yeah. He's the frontman of the biggest metal band in the whole world. You guys can guess, it is James Hetfield of Metallica. James Hetfield was born on 3rd of August 1963 in California and was best known for being the co-founder of the biggest metal band in the whole world, Metallica. He is one of the greatest rhythm guitar players I ever known, especially for his strong writing skills, his down picking riff and his amazing voice. He was also ranked at number 24 of Hit Parade's list of 100 greatest metal vocalists of all time. In the early days of Metallica, Hetfield and the drummer Lars Ulrich experimented a few of different vocals and guitar combinations, which more likely was influenced by a British metal band, Diamond Head. Metallica finally finalized their band members with Hetfield on vocals and the rhythm guitar. Lars Ulrich on drums, Dave Mustaine on lead guitar and Cliff Burton on bass. However, Mustaine was kicked out from the band because Hetfield found that Mustaine was being too aggressive with his alcohol problems which then led them to recruit another lead guitarist from the band Exodus, Kirk Hammett. Unfortunately, Cliff Burton died due to a road accident in 1986 with the band which was replaced by Jason Newstead. Jason served as the basic of Metallica until 2001 which was then replaced by Robert Trujillo. Throughout the years, Hetfield has been involved in multiple on-stage accidents. One of the notable incidents that occurred was at Montreal where Hetfield's left arm was severely burnt due to a pyrotechnics accident. He suffered a second and third degree burns on the left side of his face and arm. Other than that, he also suffered a broken arm for a number of times due to his passion in skateboarding until the manager had to decide to put a clause on forbidding him to ride a skateboard whenever Metallica was touring. There are a few reasons to like him. First is his voice. Unfortunately, he lost his voice during his recording on So What in the early 90s and some other reasons. Surprisingly, his voice will age like a fine wine, especially in 2019 because he uses a proper technique on the scene. Just like a wartime novelty Tied to machines that 
yeah, that video was in his late 50s that time, yet he still sang so well. There are a few downfalls in James' life, and this is one of the reasons I really look up to him on how he managed his life to put his life back together after excessive abuse of alcohol in the early days. He decided to go on rehab in 2001, which was during the recording of Metallica's 8th studio album, Saint Anger. He was clean since then until he was back in rehab due to heavy touring in 2019. However, he still managed to go through it and now he is seen very healthy. Lastly, how I can talk about Metallica without their famous riff? James Happy wrote a lot of famous riffs in Metallica, which then became one of the reasons for me to pick up the guitar in the first place. Some fans even call him the Riff Master or even the Down Picking God because of this. <laughs> well, I think that is all for today. I really hope you guys really like about my info of my favorite celebrity of all time. I was lucky enough to see them live in 2013, which was the first and probably the only time that Metallica came to Malaysia. That, that was me when I was in Form 2 and I even had to skip school that day because I really want to get a great seat to experience the band. Don't skip school kids. Yeah, that's all. Do leave some comments below and please I would really appreciate if you guys would like and share this video to others. Before I end this video, here's a snippet of the first ever guitar solo that I ever learned and it was written by James Hetfield himself. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you.